Let's look at how we can use Abifine Reader to convert PDF files. So this is Abifine Reader. This is version 14. When we open up, we see we've got view and edit PDF documents, existing PDF documents. We can convert documents. And this is what we want to do. So click on Open in OCR Editor. And we'll select this file. Now, when the file opens, we will see that this process will happen. It's processing the images. That's because if we come up here to Tools, Options, Image Processing, we've told it to pre-process the page images. If you like to clean up a little bit the quality of the image of each of these pages. If we selected Recognize, um, Abby would automatically convert. By choosing this, we are going to manually convert. Another setting we have to be careful about is the language of the video. This is in English, so this is set to English, which is the default for Abbey. But if, for example, we were converting a Portuguese document, or a Russian, or a Brazilian Portuguese, or German, and so on, there are many languages, um, and we can specify the language we want. In this case, English. Other settings we want is to decide how we're going to save our conversion. Here, we're going to save it as a Word file. But some PDFs, for example, clearly came from Excel documents or from PowerPoint or something else. This we're going to save as a Word document. The other settings are here. Now, there's a number of choices here. One is exact copy, one is editable copy, formatted text, plain text, flexible layout. Normally, when we convert a PDF, we want to use editable copy. So we'll choose that for now. I'll try and remember to show you the other options later on. Another thing we want to decide is, do we want these pictures and icons, or do we just want text? Here, we want the pictures. Also, do we want this header and this footer? When we're translating, we normally want most things, so we'll keep that. So they're the main settings. Now we're ready to do a conversion. So here, let's start by looking here. We've got text, picture, table, background picture. Essentially, you can think of this page as being made up of a number of elements. This is a header with some, a little bit of graphics and some text. This is a heading, which is text, a text paragraph, um, an image here with text. Now, let's start with text. And we'll make a box here. We'll make another box here, a text box. What about this? Well, really, it's going to be very difficult to draw these items individually. So let's choose what's called a background picture and draw everything together. Then we can choose text and put this text box like this. By the way, if you find you haven't got enough room, down here you can make the uh, area a little bit bigger. So now, whoops, we've got enough room to get our text box. This is clearly uh, an image, so we just use um, a picture here. Here we've got an image with text. Now, first of all, let's just imagine it's a picture. And let's quickly do the rest of the uh, page. Can actually put those together. Uh, I'm not going, let me do this, that's a kind of uh, 
and I'll, while I've got this selected, I'll do this. And I'll draw this as text. Let me just check they are not overlapping. If the boxes overlap, for example, if I made that line there, can you see there's an area where this, strictly speaking, has been selected for both text and um, picture? So Abby could get confused here. So you have to be careful that the lines don't overlap, okay? Just come out as much as you need to avoid that. Okay, let me just do this one at the bottom. And I think I'll just select that for the text. Now, if I recognize this page, by the way, I forgot to say that these are the pages. This is the area where you see the text you're converting, and this is where you can see the result of your conversion. So it's called the image and the text panes. Here you can see now the um, pictures are like that. How do you know if something's text or not? The simple test is try deleting some of it. If you can delete it, it's text. We cannot select welcome here. If I try to select text here with welcome, and then recognize the page again. Well, I might be lucky there, but basically, if you want to put text on top of images, choose a background image first, and then draw text boxes inside that. If you're familiar with um, other software, uh, you might be familiar with the idea of layering, commandish. Here, if you do a text box, you essentially have a text layer and a graphic layer. Okay, let me quickly do the other pages. Um, just to show you for the purpose of this video. In fact, if you don't mind, let me make... Um, I'm just going to do this just for the purpose of finishing. I know this is wrong, but just so we have something, because I don't want the video to be too long. Now, we can recognize all the pages in one go, or we can recognize each page at a time. Now, when we're finished, we can save the uh, conversion. We save it as a Word document. And save it here. And Abby will open it up in Word. And here you can see we have the document ready to be translated. Let me just uh, save that. So that's our first example of converting a PDF file using Abby Fine Reader. Thank you for listening.